Hey guys, Kathleen here. I am making yogurt for my little kids. And uh, I just use regular cheapo milk at a $2 a gallon. And this is a gallon and a half. And you heat it up to 180, 180, gently. Not like on high, because then you'll scald the bottom and anyways. Um, I have done this with raw milk and it works out really nice. You heat it up to 180, you get a nice kind of cream fat layer on the top that's kind of like a, a yellowish color, but the consistency is the same. This is just pasteurized milk. I don't know how to make yogurt without pasteurizing it. So if you're looking for a recipe and a how to make yogurt without pasteurizing, I don't, I don't know how to do that. So this is a gallon and a half in my Instapot pot that I put straight on my dirty stove. Why bother cleaning that in between every time? Just clean it once a month. Once a, once a week, I meant to say once a week. Because I've incubated yogurt many different ways. When I first started doing it, I went and got this yogurt maker. It was these little insulated pockets that you put a jar in. Eventually I got three of those. What? And that's how I would, I would measure out exactly how much cups and exactly how much yogurt starter and exactly how much sweetener. No, 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 no. I quickly graduated to a whole gallon at a time. Okay. I have incubated it in the oven like Rebecca Rhodes does. And you keep it warm with the light from the oven. I find I burn light bulbs out. I have done it in my dehydrator. It has a nice low setting that you can do it. You incubate at 115, 116, 115. That's what you incubate it for. I think I did it in the microwave wrapped in a towel and I would take it out and then heat up some water, put the yogurt back in. So oven, microwave, dehydrator. This is my new favorite is the Instapot. It has a yogurt setting. So there we go. What else do we need to know? Okay, so you heat it up to 180. After 180, the proteins relax and it makes it so they don't grab each other anymore. So you don't get slimy, slimy yogurt that grabs onto each other, lots of strings hanging off the spoon. It releases so you get a scoop, like similar to sour cream, you get a scoop, right, of yogurt. So we are heating up to 180. My biggest challenge is I walk away and do something and forget, and then it boils over. Sometimes I can save the milk. Most of the time, I make a nasty mess of my stove, and occasionally I will forget that there is milk down under here. And it will smell pretty amazing in a few days. So, I need, I have to train myself to stay in the kitchen. Okay, 180, looks like your milk, start, milk starts to get pretty foamy, bubbly, not boiling, but you've got a foam on top. That's 180, if you don't have a thermometer. This is when you take it off the heat, and this is where I add the sugar. It helps cool it off, it makes, sh it makes sure it gets completely dissolved, I usually add one cup of sugar per gallon. That's less sugar than you're gonna get at the store. Anyways, so that was a heaping one cup because this is one and a half gallons. Now you can let it naturally cool and it will give you a skin on the top that you can you know, scoop off and feed to your chickens. If you're in a hurry, you can hurriedly Cool it off with an ice pack, a really clean, you know, sanitized ice pack. I'm just gonna let it cool off on the counter for now. 116. Gotta bring it down to 116. Mm. Now I'm not pretending that this is health food. We know probiotics are good for our guts, we need healthy bacteria, but we also know that pasteurized, you know, factory farm milk is not the best 
But when you th think of your budget and you have good, better, best, you know, this is better than other options, right? We know that best would be sprouted multigrain bread. You know, better is whole wheat. This is my uh, bread outlet bread. So good, better, best. Just try to be better than not good, right? What would be the best? Would that be raw, organic, pasture, grass-fed, cow milk, or goat milk? Or would best be, you know, breast milk? I did try making yogurt out of breast milk once. I can still smell it. I burnt it. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend that one. Not quite 7 a.m. Lily wants yogurt. Okay, With so honey in it. After it's eight hours, it turns off. Can you see the way at the top? I want to see the way. Way. I'd say this is not my best batch. Okay, go get the honey. Okay. Sticky. Sticky. Everywhere. <laughs> it's sticky. Oh. Just stir that in. <laughs> now, because there's a lot of whey coming to the surface, I could tell. I don't know. I did something. So, your options are you can strain it. You can put it in the fridge and things will kind of back together. I don't know what I'll do. Do I have any bread? I need to feed the chickens. Sorry. Oh, no, no. We're not going to feed that to the chickens. Um, if I have old bread that needs to go to the chickens, they'll eat it better if it's soaked in something, if it's wet and way. It's a good way to reuse your whey on bread for chickens. Sorry, I'm not awake. So I strained out uh, three quarters of the batch, Mom, um, but not all of it. I want some ogre. You want some ogre? Yeah. I'm going to put this back in with the non-strained stuff. I need a spatula. And so we'll have three quarters ish Greek yogurt. Stir it back in. Look at it, it looks like cheese. No. Now, whatever you do, make sure you rinse this out because it will stink. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna do with this and then put it in the fridge. Mm, that's a good yogurt. Mm. 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 Dad.
like to hit the line. 